Hello, dear friends, and welcome to our daily prayer service on Kardec Radio, nourishing our souls always. We are getting together every single day at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, to connect with God and the spirits on high. We literally and consciously are turning the mirror of our minds and our hearts towards God to reflect back the incredible love and care and the light that we receive back from on high. And this beautiful love and light we're always invited to share with our neighbors, with our friends, family members. And so today we chose a little chapter from the book, Pills of Trust by the spirit Diaz de Cruz through Andre Moreira. And we're going to the chapter titled, Serve and Love now. So the invitation for us is today to serve and love now. Stop wasting time. Life is formed from a series of blessed circumstances. However, oftentimes they are hidden in the midst of our trials and battles to awaken our strengths and talents. Take advantage of these generous days of renewal that are full of opportunities to leave your own mark of love and service on the earth. Beautiful invitation for us to leave a mark on this earth, a mark that is peppered with love and service. Multiply those talents of your heart by offering in your life precious goods that can be put into the service of the Lord. Multiplying our talents. We're always invited by the spirits on high, and in particular, we can read and learn and study about it by the Spirit Emmanuel in Thought and Life, where in his chapter assistance, he is outlining for us the importance for us to share the gifts we have received from God. It is really a helpful practice for us to make a list of these gifts as the invitation stands that we share those gifts. Emmanuel very clearly explains in Thought in Life that if we don't share the gifts we have received from on high from God, we run the likelihood of getting sick. He compares it to a spring, a river of water. And he says, as long as the water is running, is being dispersed and feeds the multitudes with the fresh water, the spring, the water stays clear. However, if we hold on to the water, if we dam it up, the likelihood of the water becoming contaminated is great. And that is the same that happens to us. If we don't let God's gifts flow through us for the common good, multiply those talents, he says then. Make the light of consolation, comfort, joy shine on in the lives of others. We are reminded of Jesus who asked us to let our light shine our light to spread comfort, consolation, and always joy. Know that every light disseminated from a brother's heart is a blessing multiplied and generously returned to one's existence. Dear friends, if we let our light shine for the common good and not just to brighten our own path, but to brighten our own path of service so that we, this gift we too can multiply, the gift of our light. 
The promise stands that by giving, we receive. So we never need to worry that we could run out of resources because God's generosity keeps flowing towards us. All we need to do is connect through prayer, meditation, and many other tools, but particularly prayer, where we turn the mirror of our souls, connecting with on high, receiving those gifts so we can multiply them by sharing them always being of service. Dedicate your days and your strength to the ideal of love and peace in order to equally find both serenity and bliss on your path. Again, the promise of what we are handing out, the light that we are letting shine, the light of love and peace will be repaid to us multiplied in a multiplied fashion and Diazda Cruz is telling us that it will give us serenity and bliss. What a beautiful gift. God guides life with sovereign and infinite love and then counts on each of his children to be a divine instrument of his will. Now he's pointing out to us to always remember that we align our will with God's will, that we become the most beautiful divine instrument. And by connecting with God as often as possible, by cleaning our mirror that is pointed towards God and Jesus and the spirits on High Mother Mary, all the good spirits, we will become a cleaner and clearer vessel of God's will, passing on the gifts, doing the good always, starting with our thoughts and our feelings. Know that you are immersed in a sea of magnanimous love. This reminds us the fact that we are immersed in a sea of magnanimous love always reminds us of the beautiful chapter on divine providence in Genesis by Alan Kardec, where Alan Kardec compares divine providence with a fluid that we are immersed in, a subtle fluid, he says, that sees everything, that understands everything, and feels everything. Pure love, this fluid we are made out of and we are immersed in, we swim in. And Diaz de Cruz uses a similar picture, the picture of a sea of magnanimous love that surrounds us. So there is never any scarcity. And if we don't feel love flowing our way from the human realm, let us remember today that we are love, that we are surrounded, immersed with love. All we need to do is connect with God and the higher realms and have faith. Elevate your soul to the altar of life and to your Father by connecting yourself to good and beautiful thoughts, which are both felt and lived. And feel the winter of your existence convert itself into an everlasting spring which embodies the joy of living. Friends, if we elevate our souls, if we turn this mirror of our souls towards God and the higher spirits, and we're reflecting the love and light back to us, we, Diaz de Cruz, is reporting that the fall of our earthly existence will be a joyful time. It won't be one of suffering and loneliness, of despair and remorse, lack of opportunities, missed opportunities. But instead, it will be an everlasting spring. What a beautiful promise. What a beautiful proposal for us to keep in our hearts and minds. The spirit Neo Lucio calls the precious gift of time the divine talisman. 
And yes, indeed, time is a divine talisman. It is a gift from God. And we don't know how big our allotment of time is in each and every single lifetime on earth. So today we are invited to make use of our time to do the good right now. Dear friends, let us conclude with the beautiful prayer of peace, the prayer of St. Francis, which so beautifully expresses the sentiment of this pill of trust that we just ingested today during this gathering. And for this, we will be playing, we'll be playing some music and you are invited to close your eyes and find a comfortable position and open your hearts and minds to really take in this wise and beautiful prayer that summarizes our duties on planet Earth, the prayer of St. Francis. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me so love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. O oh, Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love, for it is in giving that we receive. And it is in pardoning that we are pardoned. And it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. And so be it. Thank you, dear friends. Thank you for joining for this prayerful moment. Thank you, Serena and Daniel and Abby Shear and Nora Brazil and Beth Cruz and some others whose names I cannot see right now. Many blessings. God bless you. And we'll see you next week, same time. <laughs>